Now here's a cool trick that uh, is only possible starting with PowerPoint 2007. One of the problems with the older versions of PowerPoint is when you're building e-learning content and you have a lot of layered objects on the screen, it really is a lot harder uh, to manage and work with those layers. You're kind of having to tab through and look for your objects and and move things around. It's just it's, It just wasn't easy to work with layers. Uh, starting in PowerPoint 2007, uh, that's really improved quite a bit and it really makes PowerPoint 2007 and, and 2010 uh, much better uh, when you're building rapid e-learning courses. So basically you go to the Home tab and then you have this thing called the Selection Pane. So it's just under Select. Here's the Selection Pane. And it's actually going to show you all of your objects on the screen. And they're kind of layered on there so you can manipulate the layers. You can reorder them. Uh, you can hide the layers. Um, you can show them. Uh, let's say you just want to work on um, the this picture for example but you don't want to mess anything up so you just want to work on the picture. You can go ahead and um, hide all and then just enable uh, the picture and you can do whatever you want to on this and you don't have to worry about messing anything else up and then when you're ready you just go ahead and do a show all. Uh, so working with the layers is easy. Same with uh, moving them up and down in order. Um, one of the things that's interesting when you look at the layers, and it kind of goes to what I was talking about earlier. So when we look at this particular screen here, these are grouped clip art images. So when we actually look at that, um, like this one here, group 129 is this lady, uh, you can see that image is made up of all of these other shapes. And you've got the same thing here. So you've got all these shapes. So if we expand that, you can see, even though there's just a few objects on the screen, um, when we look at the actual shapes, there's quite a few uh, shapes on the screen. So that really means that the rendering process is going to be bogged down because it's going to try to convert all of this to flash. Now if we look at um, the new version of that, essentially it's the same screen. Uh, the only thing is now I just have five objects on the screen versus hundreds of objects and the rendering is going to be a lot easier. One of the things you'll notice too with the selection pane is I have uh, the things um, labeled. And that's something that um, takes a little getting used to but if you do that can really save uh, your production time. So if we come to the old version, so I've got all this stuff on here. I don't even know what this is. And so even if I collapse them, I don't know what group 4 is or group 6 or group 129. That means nothing to me. But what I'd want to do is I'd want to come in here and I would want to you know, call this um, lady so I can uh, change the title of that. And maybe group 6, that's the manager. So I can say manager. Um, group 4 could be coworker. Um, by labeling that, it, it's going to let me know quickly what that is. So if I want to hide something, I can hide that. I can show it, um, but I, I know what that is. I'm not trying to click around and figure out what things are. Same with this. This could be, you know, the background. Um, so it's going to make it a lot easier uh, to work with that if you get used to labeling those. Uh, the other thing that's nice is, especially if you let's let's shut that down. Let's go to the animation panel. So when I go to animate, if I click on the animation pane, see if I click here. And let's say I'm just going to fade that in. You can see uh, if I want to go to the animation, now I know uh, here's where the manager's animation is um, versus if it was just saying group 45. I wouldn't know what group 45 is. So it takes a little getting used to, but go into the selection pane, um, label uh, the objects that are on the screen, and then when you need to turn things on or off or swap them out or change them or whatever, it's just going to be a lot easier working with them. It takes a little getting used to, but once you do that, it's really going to make working with your courses that much easier.